Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Passport 2890RL. Now this is a late fall model 2017, so this has some of the changes you will see in the 2018 models. Let's go ahead and start up front here, we'll make our way around, then head on in. Right up front is your propane tank cover. Uh, of course, you have your two propane tanks in there, very easy to access. Undo these two thumb screws, that way you can lift up the door, and right there are your two 20-pound tanks. Now behind that, you have a very large battery rail here. This is big enough for two batteries, so if you want two batteries, not an issue to go ahead and fit them there. Black diamond plating coming up the front. This will help protect the front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way it doesn't beat up your beautiful fiberglass here. Also over on the side, you will see a light, which helps give some extra visibility at night. And right down below that, built into the uh, diamond plating there, that is actually solar. This unit is now solar prepped, so if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the panels, go ahead and plug it right in there, and it will start to trickle charge the battery. So you come around to the side, and here's your pass-through storage. You will notice you have a covered hinge on there, so you're not going to get a bunch of dirt coming down the door. Magnetic, that is a new change as well. You'll see that. So you, again, you don't have any plastic tabs, so you have to worry about breaking off. When you take a look in here, you will see it is nice and large and open, a light. You'll also notice the aluminum framing. Passport has all aluminum frame. Uh, so, you know, not only is it light and durable, but also if there is any water that gets in there, you won't have to worry about your structure rotting out on you. So you make our way back. Right here is your Solera power awning. You can see that is a large awning. It does cover both entrances on this coach. Underneath the awning is an LED light strip. Uh, the great thing about that is that way you don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. You know, it just makes setting up and breaking down camp a lot easier. You touch a button, the power awning rolls out. You touch another button, your lights are there. You are ready to start enjoying camping. Getting into the coach is very easy. You have two entrances. The front one right here is actually the secondary entrance. Um, as you can see, you have three steps right here. This will lead you close to the bathroom. So, you know, if you or uh, friends, family members have to go in just to use the bathroom, this is the entrance you'll want to use. Uh, but that's exactly where it goes. Nice thing about having three steps, you'll see the first one here is nice and low. So if you do have bad knees, it isn't very hard to get into this coach. Electrical outlet right here. You can see two plug-ins there. So if you need to plug anything in, whether it's a phone, electric griddle, whatever it may be, you have that access to do so. Uh, if you take a look up top, also underneath the awning and LED light strip, you will see two outside speakers. Those are connected to your multimedia center inside the coach. However, it is Bluetooth capable. So if you're sitting out here enjoying yourself and you want to be able to control the music, you can connect to that multimedia center via Bluetooth on your smartphone or tablet and control the music from right out here. If you take a look down below, these are load equalization axles. Uh, what that means essentially is it's a wide axle system or spread axle. Uh, so the further the axles are apart, the more stable the trailer will be. So by having them further apart, that reduces the sway you will get in the trailer, meaning that you will have a better towing experience. Uh, also, they're easy lube axles. So on the maintenance side of things, that is a big advantage as well. Rather than having to constantly repack the bearings, there's a grease cert that you can pump grease into. To. Making your way back here, this is the main entrance. Again, three steps to get in. That third one, as you can see, is still nice and low. The reason you know it's the main entrance is because this is the one that has the easy grab handle on it, and this will get you right into the rear living area. Uh, the rear living grab handle, or the uh, uh, foldable grab handle here, is very advantageous again because it just makes it easier to get inside the coach, less chance of falling and hurting yourself. One other thing I like to talk about is this little badge of approval right here. This is the extended season camp. Uh, this unit does have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. Uh, so not only does that help keep some of the uh, rodents and varmints and stuff out, but also there is, as long as you're running the furnace, it will blow air into your underbelly. Uh, so that way things don't freeze up on you in the later seasons. Now it's not, you know, I wouldn't call it four season capable, but again, you can camp into late fall with this unit. So you come around to the back side here, uh, a couple of quick things. One of the new things you'll notice right up top, this unit is prepped for a backup camera. So if you want that, again, it is nice and easy to go ahead and have hooked up. Large rear picture window here. This is awesome. When we get inside, you'll see that you have two swivel uh, rockers right there. So that way, you know, if you're backed up to a nice view, you can just turn your chairs around and truly uh, enjoy nature and the beauty of outside. 
Right here is a hookup for a grill. This unit does come with the grill. Uh, that is inside, uh, underneath the bed generally. Then right underneath here, you will see the propane quick connect. So that way you can just go ahead, hook your grill right up into that, and it will feed off your two 20 pound bottles. Now, if you have a grill at home that you absolutely love, you know it's a camping grill you wanna bring with you, you can absolutely do that. Use the same quick connect. You don't have to use this one, but again, it is very convenient to be on there. Then right back here is your spare tire. Uh, you know, hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, you know that it is riding right back here for you and it'll be in good shape because it has the cover on there protecting it from the elements. But all right folks, pretty much wraps it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Passport 2890RL. This particular model is in the driftwood interior. Let's go ahead and start off on the back right here. Uh, so as I mentioned, we were outside. Right here are your two swivel rockers. Uh, this is great, nice and comfortable. And as I said, you can turn these suckers right around and have a beautiful view out that back window. Right in between, you have the end table for any kind of beverages. And on both sides there, you will see you have electrical outlets. So if you need to work on a laptop or tablet, you can easily go ahead and do so. Then right up top, along the top here, you have great storage, uh, glass fronts on there, nice tinted glass, but good storage right up there. Uh, one other thing I like is right over here is the kitchen. If you take a look, we'll open this up. You can see great storage right here uh, underneath the countertop. Very large countertop, I may add. As you can see, a huge countertop space there. But we'll get to the kitchen in just a moment. First, I want to hit this slide. Uh, so it's a super slide. You'll see your jackknife sofa right here, comfortable to sit on. Also provides plenty of space underneath. You can see that, very easy access storage. Uh, that's probably your biggest advantage to a jackknife, you know, is that it's, uh, it's lightweight and it's easy to get to the storage right underneath it. You'll see two large windows there, which are great. LED lights here. Uh, you have LED lights through the entire ceiling, which are very nice. Um, not only because they don't put out near the heat, but they also use a fraction of the power. You'll also see that you have a vent right here. This is pretty cool too. Uh, as we get in the kitchen, you'll see the cooktop isn't very far away. So that way, you know, if you're cooking bacon or something that smells, you can open this up, open some windows, get a nice breeze going and get those smells out of here quickly. Uh, large U dinette, very large U dinette, which I really enjoy this as well. Because that way if you entertain, if you have guests over, you have plenty of room for everyone to sit here. And more importantly, U-shaped dinettes make very large beds. Uh, so this table does drop down, sits along these rails right here. Of course, these legs come out. You can use the cushions, fill in the top of that uh, table there. And then this is a bed that is large enough to sleep to adults. So that's definitely advantageous. Uh, right over here is your entertainment center. So as we take a look at that, you can see right here is a TV. This is on a swing arm mount. Uh, they have this guy here to make sure your TV doesn't fly out while you're traveling, which is nice. Of course, you can remove that, no problem if, when you're watching it. Uh, but again, great for travel. Jensen Multimedia Center right there. This is a radio CD and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, pop it right in there and you are good to go. Storage both on the top and bottom. You can see that right up there. Great spot for your DVD collection. And then additional storage right down below. As we move over to the side, a couple quick things. Uh, one, this right here. So as I open this up, this is pretty cool. You have an option. This is a very versatile space. Uh, you can see up top you have hanging space. So if you want to use this for wardrobe or um, you know like a jacket closet, you can. But I personally wouldn't because you have another one. I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, you have these removable shelves here. Personally, I would probably use this as a pantry. It's right next to your kitchen. It makes perfect sense. Um, and there's not a ton of other uh, uh, you know, good de designated storage for food. So I would definitely use this as a pantry. And if you do, you will can see that that is an excellent pantry space. Right over here is the Dometic fridge freezer combo. Open that up, plenty of room there too. Uh, you can see you have a cutout here for some taller items, which is great. This does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Meaning if you're running it off propane, as soon as you plug it into shore power, it'll automatically switch over to electric for you, saving you on your propane gas. 
Then as we move further into the kitchen, right here's your microwave, fully functional hood with a light and a fan. Up top, this is your other pantry storage essentially. Uh, I do like that they put these beautiful raised panel cabinetry doors on there. I think that really helps make it pop, really uh, gives a great look to the kitchen. And of course the brush nickel pulls on there as well. Uh, but you can see up there, you know, you do have good uh, storage space there. Of course, a window in the kitchen, you have to have that. Let some light in the kitchen here, LED light right under here, uh, so that way you have light at night as well. As I did mention, good countertop space. You can see all this space right in here, which is great. Uh, you do have your uh, covers here, your sink top covers. These are both cutting board quality. So, uh, you know, what you can do is you can go ahead and flip these over. You know, use them as cutting boards. When you're done, flip them back. I would personally only use one side as a cutting board. That way, one side still looks very nice. Um, you know, so that way you can still just present that side. You can see here it is a double bowl sink, larger bowl on the left, smaller bowl there on the right. Uh, so that makes it nice and easy for washing and rinsing dishes, especially when you have the high rise faucet. So underneath the sink you have great storage as well. Uh, you can see right here, open this up, big storage area there, two large full extension drawers. You can see how long those are. So uh, you can easily fit a lot of your serving utensils like spoons or spatulas, things like that. Also, you have have storage right underneath the sink here. Uh, last thing of note, electrical outlet, you have electrical outlet hidden right under here, so if you have to plug in coffee maker, toaster, blender, whatever it may be, you can easily go ahead and do so. So that pretty much wraps up the back half here. Uh, let's head up front. Um, right in here is the bathroom. Let's go take a look at this, and then we'll go ahead and hit the bedroom. So right here you see your uh, foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of leg room here all the way around, which is nice. Uh, the shower, it is a neo-angle shower. I'll go ahead and open this up for you. Uh, let me show you some space too. So I'm a, I'm a pretty big guy, I'm about six foot. Uh, you can see right here, I do have sufficient room. Um, you know, if I'm sitting on the john, no problem. Plenty of leg room here. As far as the shower, if I get in the shower here, again, this is neo-angle. So, you know, I do have sufficient space here, but if you are, uh, you know, much taller than six foot, uh, you know, you probably will have to crane your neck a little. So I do like to show that in this particular model. Um, you will see right here, you do have a hand wand. So this definitely does make it a little bit easier to wash up. And then a couple shelves there behind me as well. Now, as I close the door, right over here is your mirrored medicine cabinet. You can see you have storage right there behind that. Uh, sink top and vanity here, plug in, and then right underneath, uh, you do have a tiny bit of storage, but that is mainly going to be access for your plumbing. Now, as we come back out of the bathroom, right over here, uh, this is what I mentioned a little bit ago when I was talking about coat storage. So if you come in this back door here, you can take a look right there and see that you have uh, some hanging hooks. So that way you can come in, hang your jackets, sweatshirts, whatever, right up there. And then as we open this up, you will also notice great storage down here. And you can see that it is divided. So if you wanna put shoes in here, you can do that. If you wanna put, uh, you know, if it's colder season, you wanna put some scarves or mittens in there, you can go ahead and do that too. Uh, but it just makes it a great extra storage area. Why don't you move, up, move on into the bedroom here. Um, so one of the big things you'll notice, one of the big changes is the bed. And it's a big change. I mean, it is a huge bed. You have a uh, king size bed in here, which is awesome. Uh, you know, you may have a king size bed at home and you go camping and it feels like you just don't have enough room. You're constantly elbowing each other. Uh, this is definitely a big upgrade. So that way, you know, again, you have that elbow room. You have the room while you're camping. Uh, it's more like you're sleeping at home, which is what you want. You want some of those comforts while you're uh, out camping too. So uh, that is a big change there. They still have the beautiful door right here. Uh, you know, I like the fact that Passport uses the door for privacy. So, you know, if you do have additional guests, you can go ahead and close that. And again, it just gives you that extra uh, feeling of privacy over a, over a standard curtain. Uh, windows on both sides, so that will allow for a cross breeze. Mirrored wardrobe here. You can see you have mirrored wardrobe on both sides, hanging rod there going across too. Uh, up top here, you have some additional storage, tinted glass. You can see the storage right there. And then also on both sides of the bed, you still do have an electrical outlet. So if you need to uh, plug in cell phones or you have a CPAP machine, that is not an issue. Right up here, you'll see they did put a sticker so you know where to uh, put your LCD TV. So if you do want a TV in here, you can mount it right there. And then right up top are the hookups for that. 
But all right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Keystone Passport 2890RL. Uh, this is a great floor plan. Um, you know, if you, it's a great couples coach, you have that big back window. Both those rear uh, seats do swivel, so you have the two swivel rockers, uh, which again, you know, are really nice to be able to swivel around, look out that back window. The large u if you have additional guests, they can sit down, play a game, you have a place for them to sleep. The king bed is a huge addition in here uh, and for the size of the trailer it is fairly lightweight and very well built uh, if you are interested in this model you can either give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV or you can take a look at our website which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information if you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel that will be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV thanks again for watching I'm Ian Baker and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom